Okay, now we're at our uh, computer with Mixcraft running, and I have uh, created a song here with some loops, uh, a drum beat, and a bass phrase. And um, what I want to do, now that I've got my guitar amp turned up to the right level, and my uh, mixer gain set to the right level, I want to make sure that I've got a good level here in Mixcraft. Um, so I'm going to play a note here. Notice that it kind of went into the red there when I was doing some of the uh, uh, muting. So we're probably going to want to pull that down a little bit. And since I'm using one of my M Audio cards, I need to pull that down with the M Audio control panel software. So. That's probably pretty good. Record a little bit just to see if the uh, level is right. And the level looks pretty good. It's not clipping, um, and it's not too low to where I'll have to turn it up, causing hiss. So we'll record this uh, couple phrases of this song real quick. <laughs> Okay, put the guitar away, see what we've got. Okay, that doesn't sound bad to start with, um, but what I can hear is every time there's the chunk chunk part, the low end in my guitar is clashing with the bass, so I want to solo the guitar and loop a little bit of it here. Take that out so it doesn't clash with the bass. So they sound like two completely separate instruments rather than uh, one writing on top of the other or canceling the other out. So um, now that we've got that basically tweaked, I'm going to uh, add some effects, take out the tuner that I used earlier. Um, first thing I'll add is the Acoustica EQ and pull out the uh, sub-low frequencies that a guitar won't use. We'll play that loop again, minus the bass. Okay, there's that. And also on the guitar, I like to use a uh, stereo type of plug-in. And I like this pseudo stereo, which is in uh, many of my other tutorials. Pick the overheads too. What this is going to do is create a stereo separation, make the guitar sound huge. Make it sound like there's two guitars playing rather than one. Okay. And then I'll probably want to do uh, some reverb. So we'll take the Acoustica reverb and get rid of the high frequency damping. That's my own preference you can do as you like with that see what that sounds like 
Probably for a heavy song like this, I'm going to want some delay. I'll choose this classic delay, and I know the uh, classic delay is going to have the sync on, which it's trying to synchronize itself with the beats per minute of the song. We'll see how that sounds. Uh, too much feedback, which is uh, too many delays after the actual signal. And the uh, actual wet mix is probably a little much. If you hit stop, you can hear what it's doing. Okay, that's pretty good. Now let's listen to that with the mix. And that doesn't sound bad for a rough mix. Um, the guitar itself is uh, nice and up front. I know you can hear the hi-hat, the, the drums in the background there, but that really doesn't matter because when everything else is running, uh, two things, the guitar is much louder than that. And uh, the other thing is that whatever you're hearing in the background is exactly the same as the other tracks. So it's not like it's interfering. Um, I always run my recording studio that way. A lot of people like to use headphones. They'll put a set of headphones on and uh, run the uh, mix through it by uh, using the monitor incoming audio for the other tracks or something like that. But I find that that gives the musicians a uh, non-live kind of feeling. They, they seem to lose their feel with their uh, playing. So... Basically, I stand my vocalists in front of a blasting PA, and I stand my guitar players in front of a blasting PA and an amp on the other side of them to simulate the uh, live feel, and, and they tend to play better. And uh, I've never had that, that little bit of bleed uh, interfere with recordings at all. So there you have it, uh, a decent guitar sound to start with. Tweak that as you will if you want more delay, if you want a chorus whatever you'd like to do, add your lead guitar tracks. Um, when you add other guitar tracks, you're going to tend to want to make those sound a little bit different. Um, so you don't have two guitars that sound exactly the same doing two different things. They're going to uh, kind of step on each other. So EQ the second guitar a little bit differently. Uh, use a different amp. Um, use slightly different effects, especially on a lead channel. Use uh, maybe more delay or a longer delay. Uh, less reverb, um, maybe no chorus, just make it different. And I think your guitar tracks will come out sounding pretty good. Thanks for watching.